my Auntie Bawan with half a wisdom left. And today we are back with another Poke the News recap. This is my co anchor Snake. And he will be here to give you the news for this week. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 6 will feature up to 4 protagonists. Grand Theft Auto was originally gonna have 4 protagonists. It's not confirmed yet, so we shall wait. Now we play the waiting game. You know, the waiting game sucks. Players are able to visit 3 cities at launch, which uh, firstly, Miami from Vice City confirmed, and 2, which is likely gonna be Liberty City and San Andreas. Uh, let's just hope that they don't put a lot of this content behind the paywall. <coughs> Yay. <coughs> In previous reports, it is said that the game will feature its first ever Latina protagonist. She's one half of a playable character in the Bonnie and Clyde duo. News number 2, Backbone 1, a DualSense inspired PlayStation controller for the iPhone. Backbone 1 PlayStation Edition was recently announced and it's DualSense inspired PlayStation Mobile gamepad for the iPhone. So yay, Apple. Your Mac friend, Brent Rambo. The controller retails for 445 ringgit. So yeah, get it. It took the original Backbone One's design and slapped it with the app support and gave it the PS5 signature look. This way, you feel like you own a PS5 even though you don't. Why packs? Shut up and take my money! News number 3. 10% sales tax are expected to apply on imported low-value goods purchased online. Yes, a new bill is being tabled which will impose a sales tax on imported low-value goods in Malaysia very soon. Help me, I'm poor. This came after some proposed changes to the Sales Tax Act of 2018 to the Tax LVG low-value goods via the Sales Tax Amendment of 2022. The sales tax will basically cover any prescribed goods or class of goods outside Malaysia which are sold or bought in the country. The goal here is for equal tax treatment for both locally manufactured and imported LVG products in Malaysia with 10% being charged on both products. Currently, local manufacturers are charged 5-10% to taxes for LVG which includes like books, clothes, cosmetics, electronics and more and that does not exceed 500 ringgit per consignment. This will also apply to sales in online marketplaces where sellers are compulsory to register with the Ministry of Finance and display their particulars on their LVG packaging under section 11D on the bill. If the bill does get passed, it will not be implemented immediately as it will be up to the finance minister to determine the exact date of the commencement. For me personally, I think this is the kind of thing that will happen after the election if you know what I mean. Sony PlayStation 5 finally gets its 1440p support. The Sony PlayStation 5 has finally gotten its highly requested feature after so long, a proper 1440p support. This is currently made available in the beta firmware of the gaming console. Basically, now gamers have the option to switch between the four different resolutions. 720p HD, 1080p Full HD, 1440p 2K, and 2160p 4K resolution. This update coincides with the launch of Sony latest in-zone gaming monitors which one of them comes with a 1440p native resolution. It feels like they didn't acknowledge the existence of 1440p but as soon as they have their own monitor, Hey look, we're 1440p! Easy money! Free money! Last news, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 and Z Fold 4 revealed. So Samsung has continued with the Korean giant's latest headlining act. 
the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4. At first glance, they look pretty much the same but in truth, there are some notable improvements from its ancestors. For the Fold 4, there were significant upgrades in its camera system as it finally matches up to current gen flagship smartphones. Whereas on the Flip 4, it has better improvement in its battery life. The reason for Samsung to not bring massive changes in this iteration is due to higher manufacturing costs. And to push this further into mainstream, has the improved after sales support for these devices. Likely next year, when the costs have gone down, we might see drastic changes in these foldables. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 will have a retail price of 1799 USD, whereas the Flip 4 will have a retail price of 999 USD. Both phones will come with 2 years warranty and free screen protectors change up to 3 times. It looks the same. But it's not. Uh, then again, it looks the same. It's not. It, it still looks the same. It's not. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. So that's all for this week's news recap. I am Auntie Balan and signing out. Bye bye. This is so cute. Sneaky sneak. sneak.